Thank you. Today, the Manitoba Advocate for Children and Youth released a report called A Place Where It Feels Like Home, the story of Tina Fontaine. Madam Speaker, too often we, seem, we see our Indigenous children lost to us because of failings within the system meant to keep them safe. We have seen time and time again reports and recommendations calling for changes to the child welfare system that are never fully implemented. Again, for the record, what is this minister doing to ensure that the recommendations of this report do not merely sit and gather dust on the shelf? The Honourable Minister of Finance. Well, thank you, Madam Speaker. And uh, again, I just want to emphasize the fact that we very much appreciate the work that the Children's Advocate has done in terms of these recommendations. We think it's important to take action on these types of items. Uh, if you look at our experience with the Phoenix Sinclair recommendations, we implemented more than 90%, Madam Speaker, 90% of the recommendations uh, since coming to office. So our track record suggests that we want to make sure that youth are supported, vulnerable Manitobans are supported. We've introduced child welfare reforms. We're, we're, uh, uh, we're going to implementing policies that will help impact early learning and rather uh, early intervention and prevention to make sure that vulnerable children are supported, Madam Speaker. The Honourable Member for Kuwait Nook on a supplementary question. Madam Speaker, we know that the system fails my people in many ways. One such failure was the lack of counselling and support services to be able to be received by Tina. And I quote, fuck it, I'm outie, see you all whenever. I have two suicides back home. My friend Donald Baxter hung himself last night. I should have told him how much I cared. Can this minister ensure that my people, especially my children in care, receive the support services they need when they need it. The Honourable Minister of Finance. Well, thank you, Madam Speaker, and, and I want to uh, truly thank the member for her comments and, and her experiences. I know how passionate she is about the child welfare system. We were up in Thompson together when we did our consultations, and so I really appreciate what you're saying and, and how passionate you are about making, making sure that vulnerable children are supported. And that's really what this government wants to do. We want to address the child welfare issues. We want to make sure that vulnerable individuals, vulnerable children have homes, not hotels. We think that supporting earlier intervention and prevention before, the child well, before they get into the child welfare system is part of the answers, Madam Speaker. And we want to work with all parties to make sure vulnerable children are supported. Prior to proceeding with the next question, I would just like to remind members that using um, swear words in the House, even if quoting from a, a source, is not allowed in this chamber. The Honourable Member for Kuwait Nook on a final supplementary. Thank you. Many Indigenous people have long been wary of the CFS system, wondering if any child will ever see their own homes again. I know many have passed on before they were ever returned home. According to the Manitoba Advocate, Mani Manitoba continues to lack safe and secure placement resources for children who are at risk of imminent harm or death. When we fail to protect our children who are at the highest risk of harm from addictions, sexual exploitation, or crime, can we really say we're truly looking out for their best? Madam Speaker, I apologize, but it had to be said, I had to, that's the real, that's what I deal with. Will this minister commit to implementing all the recommendations of this report and others that aim to keep children in care safe, happy, and alive? The Honourable Minister of Finance. Well, thank you, Madam Speaker, and you, by all means, don't have to apologize for the passion you're bringing about the child, children in care here in the province of Manitoba. 
supporting vulnerable children isn't something this side of the house or the other side of the house, any side of the house uh, is opposed to. I think everyone wants to make sure we're supporting vulnerable children. We're absolutely committed to addressing the child welfare system in the province of Manitoba that we inherited. We want to make sure that children are supported. That's why we've introduced things like the Protecting Children Act as one of our first things in government to make to ensure systems speak to each other. Customer care to ensure that culture is a part of any child welfare well-being as well as the child welfare reform which we think should focus on early intervention and prevention before they get in the child welfare system in and itself to make sure people are supported once they leave the child welfare system, Madam Speaker.